Hi there, Lee Greg Zarnold, Rendering Specialist at Autodesk. And let's go through the Gobo light filter. So the Gobo filter can only be used with spotlights and used typically in theatrical stage lighting. So for example, here's we've got a spotlight with a Gobo in front of it, casting this pattern here. And in, in old, Gobo is not a light source in itself, but rather a light filter applied to a spotlight, which you can use any texture map or procedural shader. Okay, so we've got our Arnold disco lighting scene here. That was four spotlights. So we've got to select one spotlight, go to the Arnold settings, and down to light filters, we can add the Gobo light filter there. Just all click on it there. And then under slide map, we can open a, a file texture. So I'll create an old image shader and open our texture map. Gobo is projecting the texture map onto the, the full lot. And we've got several filter modes, so we've got different blending equations here. Blends the default one, which, which works in most situations. And replace, add, sub, and mix. But like I say, blend works for most things. So that's file texture. And this one, uh, I'm going to add another Gobo. And we'll create a fractal shader, a procedural shader called fractal. So we can. Uh, also use it as a slide map for the Gobo. Uh, I've got another scene here, the spotlight, and under the Gobo, I'm going to create another Arnold image shader, and we've got a picture of a, a window frame that we can use to project through the Gobo light filter. Okay, so if we go back to the Gobo settings, we've got also got a density. Our higher values will make the gobo more opaque, letting light slide through. And we can place it using the offset attributes. Or we'll scale it in S and T. Let's get the effect we want. Finally, we've got our obligatory Emily scene with the spotlight shining in her face. Uh, if we add another gobo here. And under the slide map, I'm just going to create a ramp RGB. And then we can add some more colors. Maybe some red, some blue, some yellow. Just mix it all up a bit. And then we change the type to the U direction. Go back to the Gobo. And then we can increase the scale S to increase the number of repetitions. And even change the offset so we can position exactly where we want it to be. Okay, so that's an introduction to the Gobo filter in Arnold. Thanks for watching.